I'm Dr. Anthony Harper with the Intermountain Christian News and the Christian Newspaper Association. We are a voice of truth, and we have inspired uh, interviews. And today, my interview is with Laura Baton. And uh, Laura, thank you for joining me. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's it's great to uh, be able to talk with you today about uh, how God has inspired you in in singing. And a lot of our listeners would like to know uh, more about how your faith, uh, your Christian faith, has has inspired in uh, inspired you in singing. Um, uh, how long have you been singing? Um, I have been singing since I was uh, four years old. I started. Um, I was singing, and my mom heard me around the house while I was singing, and uh, she decided to help me prepare a song to sing in church for the first time. So on for a Christmas concert, and so on Christmas Eve. Um, I I performed for the first time, and I sang Silent Night. What a beautiful song that is. Yes, it is. And um, uh, America's Got Talent, Um, I I saw that video and uh, was very inspired. I I could feel the Holy Spirit uh, working through you. And um, anyway, how did that uh, work out for you to be on America's Got Talent? Um, I was I was performing for the Chicago Bulls, and uh, we get a email from the person that was helping us um, backstage at the Bulls game, and he was asking if he could pass on our information to a producer from America's Got Talent. And uh, we got we received the email, and I couldn't I really could not believe it, but in like. Um, but then we actually called and it ended up being real. And I just, it was an incredible moment because I grew up watching the show. And next thing I knew, um, I was on the show. Yeah, that, that, it, it is amazing. Miracles happen. And um, you have a, a voice teacher that is you. And uh, what is her name? And how long has she, she been helping you? Um, I have been uh, singing. Um, I started singing classical music four years ago, um, and after like two years, my mom decided it was I was ready to have a vocal coach, you know, to guide me. So I've had my vocal coach Nicoletta for two years now. Oh, that's wonderful! And uh, she has experience in working in Chicago uh, as uh, as uh, with the opera. I'm assuming. Yes, at the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. You are blessed. You are blessed, Laura, with a lot of good people to help you. Your, your mother, uh, Rahela, and uh, the, this voice coach, and most importantly, how Jesus has helped you and inspired you. Uh, how how did you uh, arrive at your faith in Jesus as your Savior? Um, I actually grew up um, in a Christian family. Um, and I always loved going to church and taking part in the choir, um, going to Sunday school every morning, every Sunday morning. And, uh, I was very, I was very involved in the church. I would sing a lot. I was in the band. And he has inspired you, uh, greatly and helped you uh, so much. Uh, I remember accepting Jesus myself at the age of nine, and uh, it's it's not easy uh, being Christian, but with God's help, you can do great things. and And uh, it was a miracle how Laura, you know, uh, you being thirteen to win that, uh, uh, you know, with that wonderful that contest, the America's Got Talent. Uh, and a lot of people didn't expect um, a beautiful voice to come out from a a, a, um, a small person a young person and that that's uh, clearly how god has helped you um in uh being able to sing and inspired and uh, do you have a uh a, a recording album currently uh no i but we're working on it you work on it that would be great to 
have that. I'm sure a lot of people are, are eager to to uh, to listen to that. And of course, uh, on on video on YouTube, people can and see you there as well. And uh, I've seen several of your programs. And uh, actually, I was uh, Laura moved to tears uh, many times watching that video. America's Got Talent with you. How how God uh, helped you. And um, your story is a wonderful story, Laura, about how uh, people that might feel insignificant or they might be small or young, uh, great things can happen with the help of God. Yes. Uh, yes, I, I believe that my voice comes from God. And I really, I've always had this, I should say, like, fire inside of me that um, it keeps growing. And, um, I mean, I always felt like I had this bond with Jesus. And, like, every time somebody would talk about their love for Christ, I was like, I I don't know, my respect for that person seemed to grow. And I don't know, it's just, I, I feel like I felt his hand. Um, on me like many times and so I'm very very blessed very blessed you you are very blessed and and I want people to be inspired and your story is, is wonderful um, you know there there are many people that some that would feel like uh, like they couldn't accomplish uh, great things they might feel insecure uh, they might feel like they're too young uh, that they don't have the right look or whatever but God can use anyone that is available, and it's very clear that you've been available for God to use you. And, and and I am praying for you, Laura. Many people are praying for you, for God to use you. Thank you so much. And, and that your dream, I, I know one of your dreams is to be in Israel, um, to be able yes. to sing in Israel. Uh, how long have you had that desire to be there in Israel? Since I was little. <laughs> Okay. And no, for some reason I really want to walk where Jesus has walked and all where all the miracles have taken place. And uh I thought it was it was I saw some other Christian artists go there and perform and have concerts there and I thought it would be a really cool experience to go and see the holy city. Well, it is it is a wonderful place, Laura. I visited there many times. And uh you know, you're talking about the story about how people might feel like uh, they could, they couldn't accomplish much, or they might feel like we're, they're not uh, experienced enough, or or too small or too young. You know, I, I know that experience being in Israel, Laura. Uh, how someone from just uh, the state of Idaho, a small state, how uh, miracles can happen. You can meet uh, people, especially the prime minister. And I would love to introduce you to the prime minister. That would be amazing. So thank you so much. Well, that is a miracle. And along with that, you've had a dream to be in the White House and to perform there as well. Yeah. um, I've seen so many um, talented people, you know, go and sing their heart out on that big platform and I think it would be such an honor to be able to take part in that and uh, yeah you know may may your dreams come true in that and uh, I want to encourage people to um, you know watch those and uh, it, people are eagerly uh, waiting your uh, your first recording I'm sure it's going to be wonderful and thank you so much you know, it it is it is a blessing to have this experience uh, uh, and and to watch the progress. How God has blessed you. Now, um, your mother has helped you tremendously, uh, has prayed for you a lot, yes. and and helped you in uh, your your voice uh, training. And um, I would like for her to be able to share a little bit about that. But you know, um, for people that want to know more information, uh, Laura, about you. Uh, do you have a website for people to view? Uh, we we currently do not have a website, but we're working on that one too. Um, but you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Oh, and, yes. Uh, YouTube. yes. 
you, you're with all the social media and great platforms. Yes. <laughs> yes. And um, so inspired Laura today. Um, I encourage all those that are listening to this, you and your family and your uh, voice coach, uh, Nicoletta, and uh, that uh, many wonderful things will happen. Your dreams will come true, and then you will be uh, a blessing uh, used by God to bless people. And uh, I do thank you for joining with me and and looking forward to uh, meeting you in person. Uh, God willing, it will be in Israel when I'm introducing you to Israel leaders and for your concert there. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to meeting you, too, and uh, hopefully... See you in Israel. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to staying in touch with you about that. Uh, now I would like to, if uh, if your mother is free, to ask her a few questions about what it's, it's been like, uh, you know, working with you at the early early stage here in, in your development. Is she available? Yes. Okay, thank you, Laura, for joining us. Well, thank you so much. Hello? Uh, Rahela. Yes. Yes, um, uh, Dr. Harper here. Um, thank you for joining uh, me today in this program. Uh, a lot has happened uh, for Laura, and uh, and before that, be, be before the uh, the high profile issues with uh, uh, the high profile issues with America's Got uh, Got Talent, there was a lot of uh, behind the scenes development. Uh, how has uh, God inspired you in helping? Uh, Laura, in in the process of developing as a singer. Okay, like uh, she said that she started singing at four years old. Well, she was in a private um, preschool, uh, and um, every Wednesday, it was a private Christian school, and every Wednesday, they brought the kids inside the church. And uh, she came home every Wednesday with a song, new song, learned. And I thought that she really loved to sing. And um, I bought her CDs with uh, songs for kids. And she was learning the song so quickly. And I thought that she was, um, you know, like singing the song without uh, any problem. And uh, at Four years and a half, she, I, I was thinking to put her, you know, to hire someone uh, to teach her how to play the piano. And um, I called somebody, and uh, that person said that she's too young to get a um, lesson for piano. And I was waiting another few months, but I saw that she really loves to sing, and she was, you know, playing with those uh, toys, like the piano toys. And um, I was thinking, you know what, let me try somebody else and see what they think, the second opinion. And uh, I call her piano teacher that she has right now, and uh, I, I told him, you know, See if she's available, I mean, if she, she can, uh, you know, she's old enough to get piano lessons. And uh, we tried, and uh, it worked with the teacher. And um, during the lesson, um, she was, uh, you know, he brought some songs that she already knew from church, from school. And she was singing in the same time when she was playing, when he was teaching her playing the piano. And he he saw that he, you know, she likes to really sing and she has a voice. I mean, she has a talent. And for Christmas concert at church, um, there was that, like, the kids program. And uh, he brought her a song, uh, Silent Night. And uh, she sang that song for Christmas uh, concert. And since then, she starts being um, invited to any, like, um, church programs, uh, conventions, Christmas uh, concerts, and 
uh, weddings. She was doing every single week. She was doing like she was invited to sing for the wedding, christening, or convention. Since then, she started to sing. And um, like four years ago. Uh, but she, before that, uh, she was singing like Christian pop, in, like Christian style, pop style. But four years ago, she she was invited for the, from the church to sing for Christmas concert. And um, every year she was singing the O Holy Night. And they year, um, like because she was growing up, uh, her voice changed. And the song was too high for her. And she tried, she tried with this voice that she sings right now, like an opera classic style. And she called me to show me what she can do. And I was shocked too what I heard from her. And I said, okay, let's do for the church a surprise. And she did in church. She sang the Oh Holy Night, like in this style, the opera style and since then she sang this style it, it's a wonderful style and that's uh in america's got talent uh she was a uh, 13 year old opera singer that uh, uh was uh, used mightily by god to inspire people and uh it is sing uh rahela how how things have been de- have developed and uh as I mentioned earlier, people are praying for you, uh, you and Laura, and your, all of your family, uh, that God will use uh, uh, this talent for His His glory. And uh, Rahela, I do pray uh, that these dreams will come true for Laura uh, in Israel and at the White House. And uh, and we we know with God, all things are possible. Uh, yes, I do look forward to meeting you in person. And uh, being there for your dreams to come true. And uh, so I thank you for joining me today. We're looking forward to doing a follow-up uh, interview with you later. And uh, Absolutely. So may God bless you all uh, with a wonderful health and encouragement thank in Christ. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Hi, young lady. Hi. What's your name? Laura. Laura, how old are you, Laura? I'm 13. 13. Are you a singer? Yes. Yes. And have you been doing this for a long time? Well, my mom always liked to sing, and, you know, she saw that I liked it, too, so she helped me practice and pick out the songs, and here I am. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Are you nervous? (laughs) I don't know, I just see so many talented people and, you know, just... (laughs) She's gonna do great. All you gotta do is sing the song that you picked out, okay? Thank you. All right. Wow! Look at that 
feel now? Relieved. <laughs> Heidi? You are born with such a gift. It is unbelievable. I could not stop smiling like you put me in the best mood. Wow. Loved it. Thank you. Simon, that didn't just happen. <laughs> Honest to God, you came out like a jelly. I didn't think you were going to be able to talk. <laughs> and then I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, if she starts to sing, this is not going to work. And then that just happened. I have never heard anything like that in all the years I've been doing this show. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you. It, it was unbelievable. Wow. Oh Here's Simon Favet. And what made it even better is the fact that you are such a sweet person, so humble, not even aware of how amazing you are. Thank you so much for coming on this show. Uh, that was really, really, really special. Amazing. You literally made all my hairs stand up on, on end. And you're only 13 years old. And you know what? I think that this show is going to completely change your life and I'm gonna change your life right now. YouTube. Thank you for watching on air and online and to subscribe just uh, click below and comment and like and just don't touch. <laughs> <laughs>